let's first look over the current meta. As has been the trend this entire year, a team that secures the early game usually has the advantage throughout mid game, and that's where most matches are decided. As a mid laner, your job can be divided into a few sections. Let's take a look. To be successful, you will need to either A. Win your lane, this is the most straightforward route. A properly farmed mid laner can most of the time adequately defend a tower, dodge or fight off ganks, and help take on objectives. Best example, Queen of Pain, Viper, Huskar. Also, any other hero when your matchup is favorable. B. Focus on flash farming. This means just pushing out every wave and gathering extra farm in the jungle. Best example, Storm Spirit, although every other spirit has such option. Also, Shadow Friend, Meepo, Broodmother. C. Significantly reduce opposing mid laner's farm. For example, Necro versus most heroes. Choose stay in lane versus Necro. Your opponent will have to stay on life support through regeneration or eventually ditch the lane altogether. While you're foregoing flash farming jungle with this method, you will win in terms of space, as the opposing mid laner might feel too weak to begin being impactful in the match. Besides Necro, there's also Kanka and Skywrath. D. Reach your first power spike and roam for kills. Most heroes have their first power spike unlocked at level 6, and then it is a perfect time to either strike down opposing mid laner or invade the side lanes. If you can't make impact in mid, you can still shift the game to your favor by helping secure one or both of the side lanes. Most notable heroes, Ember and Void Spirits, Queen of Pain again, and Clinks, once strong enough to use ultimate. Last section, E. Pushers. If you don't feel like dominating opposing mid laner or flash farming jungle, you can always simply work towards dismantling enemy towers. While this doesn't hurt any of the enemies directly, Indirectly, it is one of the best methods to secure mid-game victory. With each tower down, not only does your team get a gold income, but the enemy suddenly loses many spots on the map where they once felt safe, forcing them to play more defensively in smaller regions closer to their base. Notable heroes to achieve this option, Dragon Knight, Lycan, Visage, Death Prophet. As you might have noticed, many heroes on this list overlap with their duties. For example, Queen of Pain excels at both lane winning, reducing opponent's farm, and invading the side lanes. Same applies to other flex picks, such as Ember and Void Spirit, that can do their jobs well, regardless of the lane they are in. Currently, the more routes your hero can take, the better chances you will have of winning. If your initial plan fails for whatever reason, you can always execute the backup plan, thus never really being behind on your performance. Being flexible in this meta or any meta is the key to victory. And this concludes today's topic. I am leaving you with the rest of the match. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. The Dyer Ooh. couldn't hang on to that mid tower. Hey. The Dyer could do something about the bottom tower. Radiance top tower. Hello, this is Gabe Newell. Thanks for joining me over too. On Double the kill. The radiant pop.
structures looking fortified. They say, no. we could say they're unstoppable. Ownage. The stench of death is upon you. Mid-tower. 